Okay, in example C, equation number one, we'll call that the first one, equation number one, we have a y-intercept at two, and we have a slope of two-thirds, so rising two, running three, we'll put another point right about here, rise two, run three, somewhere in there, rise two, run three. This is so much easier to do on a piece of pencil, or a piece of paper with a sharp pencil. I could fall two and go three to the right. So roughly my line looks like, ooh, not very straight. Looks like it's not very straight, that's what it looks like. Uh, so that's y equals two thirds x plus two, thirds x plus two. And then the second line has a y-intercept of three and it has a slope of negative four over three. So I could start here at three and I could fall for one, two, three, four, and run three to the right. One, two, three. Ooh, whoops. Goodness. Two dots totally missed. There we go. Fall four. One, two, three, four. Run three to the right. One, two, three. There we are. So, or I could have risen four. One, two, three. Four, and go one, two, three. Somewhere in there. Okay, and we end up with this nice line somewhere in here. Now, this one's a little bit tricky because it's hard to tell. It kind of looks like the intersection point is at one and three-ish from my graph. But because I had the slope that I had, it doesn't actually fall exactly there. In fact, my line, again, if we had a sharp pencil, this would be down a little further and it, it doesn't cross there. And, and it's really hard to tell where that solution is. And that's where the algebra part is going to come in handy for these questions. Um, graphically is good. What I suggest you do right now, you can estimate where that uh, solution is, but put that into Desmos um, on your iPad and then check where that intersection point is. And it's probably going to round it to a couple decimal places. Um, so it's not going to be an exact value, but um, you'll get an idea of where that solution is. It's looking like it's approximately like two-thirds and, and maybe two and a half or something like that. All right, question number three is an application. The cost of a, uh, to go bowling at bowl lot lanes is $3 per shoe rental and then two fifty dollars per game. So its cost would equal, good heavens, $3 per shoe rental plus 2.5N where n is the number of games. Bowlerama, on the other hand, is a cost of $2 and then $3 per game. Find the point of intersection of the two lines by graphing on the grid provided. So a line in green, y-intercept of two, slope of three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. So $3 per game. So our Bowlerama looks like that roughly. Okay, and then my other graph has a y-intercept at three, and it's 250, so rise two and a half, and run one. Rise two and a half, so there's a half, one, two, run one. So there's my intersection point right there. They both crossed at two comma eight, just going to draw another point. This one's going to be roughly underneath here. So very close in slope, but they do end up crossing over at 2 comma 8. Okay, so find the point of intersection. That was 2 comma 8. What is the solution? The solution is the point 2 comma 8. I guess that's really what I meant is find it on the graph and then write it down here. And then what is that problem? Or what does it represent in the context of the problem? It means that for two games, they both will cost a total of $8, because this is our cost axis. And on the bottom here is the number of games. Okay, so you need to also be able to interpret in context what that point of intersection is actually meaning. So the they both cost eight dollars for 
for like two games. There we are. 